I have a dose of the hiccups. <laughs> oh, and I just mutilated that board. Holy crap. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, today, we are working on a Galaxy Note 8. Uh, can't charge. Um, it will power on when you have a charged battery. And when you plug it in, it will uh, not take any current, but it will give a, a charging icon. But it is not actually charging. Now, I've spent um, quite a bit of time already kind of looking for information on the Galaxy Note 8. And there is surprisingly little bit of information online about how to repair these guys on a logic board level. So I'm kind of in the blind dark here. I have a donor, uh, which is uh, a good, known good. It powers on fully, uh, so I'm going to use it for testing. And this is my board uh, that is having the problems. And just to give you an idea of what I found and what I'm going to try, let's go under the microscope. So here is what I think I've discovered, and it works like this. This is the bottom side of the board where the USB connector will connect. And we should be getting five volts on this guy, and we should be getting, I believe it's about three and a half on this guy. So let's plug it in and just double check our readings for the sake of recording. Okay, so it's plugged in. No power on the port of pow And let's check our voltage. Okay, so this dude here should be giving me 5.1 volts, which is what we want. We got 5.1 right there. That current goes through this little guy here, and then he comes out to this inductor on this side. And coming out the other side, we're getting... We're getting 0.645, so we're getting just over a half a volt, and I'm pretty sure we should be getting more than that. Hook up my known, my known good, and take some uh, more readings. Check the voltage in the same area. On this guy, we have 5.08, 5.1. On the inductor, get 3.5. So. Pretty sure this guy right there is some kind of a voltage regulator, uh, but I can't find anything about him. I don't know what it is. I have Google searched the name of it in every fashion I can think of, and I got no idea truly what that chip is or if I can even find another one. So it's a good thing I have a donor, and I hope I hope that's the right chip too, because that'd really suck to do this and have it not be the right chip. All right, so let's take our bad one off. Let's see how easy it is to get this gooey stuff out of here. Take it off. Wow. <laughs> I have a dose of the hiccups. <gasps> oh, and I just mutilated that board. Holy crap. Well, let's put back together the ones we know for sure, and we will check the donor board for the placement of the other ones. Well, that kind of sucks. I messed up a I messed up a few few components there, so let's get this guy out of the way. The other one blew away. So we'll just take over we'll just move over uh, the components needed. Looks like we're only going to need three, so I'm going to get this guy out of here. Mm, 
Okay, so we need one, two, three, four, four small components and the chip. Okay, I think we almost got our board ready. Let me just touch up the pads on the IC location. Dang, that's a big tip to that little tiny thing. All right, that should be good. All right, so let's set this guy aside. Take a look at, okay, so this is our donor. We gots to be super duper careful so we don't flub this guy up again. Orientation of this chip is upright relative to the way that I'm looking at it. All right, is that enough to get that guy off of there without causing any frickin' damage? Yay. We got that guy off without disturbing anything. Bonus? Let's check his little pads. Yes, we have to clean that. I really don't know how I'm going to reball this thing. Hopefully we find a way. This is terrible. All right, do I have anything that's gonna match to give this guy some fancy new balls? There we go. We have a match. Oh, look at those fancy new balls. I say, look at my fancy balls. I think I'm gonna put the four smaller components on first, uh, just so I don't damage the chip or have something blow away again. Okay, so let's get the top right so top right is that guy. There's one. Let's see if I can't do it this way. Okay, two down, two to go. And the next two are these guys, okay. Okay, that is it for the little dudes. Now it's time for the chip. Okay, our orientation is up and to the right. Let's get you lined up good. Okay, I think we are as close to being ready to test as we are gonna get. And then just clean it a bit, cool it off a bit. Everything's back in place. And so first thing I'm gonna do is uh, get a diode reading. And on this side, we're getting 435. And on this side, we're getting to uh, 0.26. So that's good. I am connecting the USB charger. All right, he is connected. Let's get our voltage tester ready. And we're gonna plug this guy in. And let's see what we got. We've got five volts coming in and a half a volt coming out. So the, that didn't help. Gosh dang, did I put the right chip on? Okay, well, 
that didn't work. So the next step, uh, it's, I'm wondering if it's that guy. I don't know what else to do. So I don't know if I can effectively test diode mode anymore on the good board because I've removed the chips now. But let's try it. Okay, well this is my this is my donor board, so let's take this shield off first. Well, that was hard to get off. Uh, let's take it off the phone we're working on too, I guess. So this chip here will be the next one that we play with. Uh, this is the SM5720, which I think is kind of the equivalent of like a TriStar on an iPhone, but I really don't know. But I think it is. So I'm getting on a diode reading on my the phone I'm working on. Let's get a true diode reading. This guy's given me 0 0.042, so something is partially shorted to ground. That line is ground. 270, 270, 270, ground, 470, 470, 480. So this guy right here, 0 0.042, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just take a chance and pull up that chip and then check that line again because that's probably our problem. Does this guy have that crappy underfill too? Ugh, oh, this stuff does have it. I got a sneaky suspicion this chip is going to be a little bit of a challenge to get off. Orientation is upper right. I know that chip is ready, but it's not going. Can I get you gently under there without friggin' anything up? Alright, let's see what kind of a diode reading we get again. We now have OL on that guy. Okay, so we're gonna take this chip, which we think is bad. And we're gonna set him up there. Wow, this one doesn't look like it has the goo under it. I'll be damned. Did this one get bypassed in the squirting procedures? Wow, that one does not look like it has underfill around it. Yay, that's a bonus. All right, before I take that off though, I'm gonna get a diode reading on the same cap. Cause on my old one, for the bad phone that's not charging, this was giving uh, like a 0, 0.0 something. So on my working board, I'm getting 0. 0.467. So, well, if it wasn't the other guy, then hopefully it's this one. And I wonder if we can find this one and actually order it. I wonder if I have some. Okay, so here we go. Let's take this guy out, give him some brand new balls and put him in his new home. Oh man, that is not underfilled. I watched that flux go everywhere under that chip. Oh, this is going to be a good one. Beautiful. Boy, I for sure don't have a stencil for this guy. <laughs> we'll have to hope we got one that matches. Or is it good enough, eh? Oh, holy night. We have a match on the first try. Let's see if we can get this guy some brand new balls. 
I would say that is a success. A success indeed. All right, so that is cleaned up good. Orientation is up to the right. I gotta say, I'm really digging these fancy tweezers. Those have a needle point like nothing I have ever seen. And they make it very easy to control the chip right where you need it. I didn't think that tweezers could make that big of a difference, but these are nice. Okay, so beautiful thing about Samsung is they give you the little corners to line up. So let's line that baby up and give him a little bit of heat. Hmm, I see a bit of a rotation in that. Let's see what happens. There she goes, little nudge. I liked how that went down. I liked it a lot. Give you a bit of a wash. Everything looks good. Cool down a minute and let's check our diode one more time. On this guy we are getting, oh mama, we're getting, uh, it's climbing, 380. I think we nailed it. I do indeed think we nailed it. So let's let that board cool down for a minute and we will come back and test it. Okay, first thing we got to do is see if it's going to power on. Let's give it a minute to fully boot. I guess I have to hold it. <laughs> All right, we are booted. And uh, let's see what happens when we charge. We still get nothing. Hey, we have... Uh, we have charging. I don't have touch though. Uh, but the red light, if you saw that, uh, we are charging. I don't have the back on, so it's probably not going to charge properly. Look at that. I just had to reset a couple of connections. And this baby is charging. And it can charge wirelessly, it says. So we got a fix. Um, this was a no power Note 8. Um, I did two different ICs, and it was the second one that needed it. Um, that guy right up at the top. Um, I, I think that's the equivalent of TriStar. I did the other one as a guess because I had no idea what I was doing with these. Um, I didn't screw anything up and now the phone is charging with the second IC replacement. So that is a success and Thank you everybody for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if this is beneficial Hopefully it is or you at least were entertained and we will see you on the next repair